Glamour Ellen invited me to be her guest how to decorate a romantic date night for Valentine's. I was so honored that she thought of me. She is such a great creator and she does such awesome, awesome work. I hope you go check out her channel and all the other awesome creators that joined in on this wonderful, wonderful challenge. These awesome creators did such a great job by finding so many unusual colors and themes. They did such an awesome job doing all kinds of unusual colors for Valentine for the last five weeks. So beautifully put together and designed by them. And she asked me to join in. Mine is going to be a pink theme, garden theme, romantic Valentine's dinner for two. I hope you enjoy what I came up with. Good evening to all my awesome friends and family. I'm joining in with Glamour Ellen today, tonight with this finale for Valentine's. I was so lucky I got to use pink. Because I had a lot of pink pieces and you know I invited a few of my friends over too. Look at who came to be a part of the beautiful finale for Valentine's. Is she not the sweetest thing? She's so pleased and happy she was invited to come along. And then we have our little sweetheart. And you know how fairies are. They always love all creatures of the garden. And she's brought her little butterfly with her. And then of course, we have our magical unicorn that came also for a little visit. Isn't he a handsome boy? And look at how his mane glitters with magic. And here is Grandma's new fairy. Isn't she beautiful? Look at all the beautiful detail work on her. And all the beautiful muted colors. She's such a beautiful, beautiful fairy. She's sitting upon her mushrooms, waiting for her food. Such a well-behaved fairy never gives a moment problem. But you can see she's a little on the shy side. She always looks sort of downward, not quite catching my gaze. But she is beautiful. And I've used a two-tier tray also in here. And the little butterfly you see in the center, I've had it for seven or eight years. I thought about using it since I'm working on the pink theme. And as you see, everything is done with pink, light lavender, and green, and touch of gold. All the flowers I've been using for the last month for Valentine's and I still have my little Valentine hearts in here. 
I did change the teapot out and put these flowers in a different teapot to give a different look. I scattered some flowers about. And some moss to bring a little bit of a garden in to this tablescape. And as you can see, I also brought in some beautiful heart necklaces to bring a little bit more that you can tell that it's Valentine's. It's a very subtle Valentine's centerpiece, but it does show the magic of the garden for Valentine's. It's a little cold to be outside, but it's just perfect to be inside. And we brought the garden in with us. And of course, the fairies brought the magic. Let me know what you think of this centerpiece and if you like it or not. Most everything here I've had for years. The actual tear tray is probably 15 or 20 years old. My plates are like 25 years old and they are just beautiful and I love them. So I've used them a lot and I've shared them a lot, but every time I always brings me joy because they're so beautiful. The silver ones I haven't had too long. I, I think I bought them uh, the end of last year and the um, place mat. Uh, is not too old either. I think I've had that a couple of months. The tablecloth I bought, um, I don't know, maybe about a month or six weeks ago, but um, I just took it out and started using it uh, the last post in this post. I have now put the glasses back on their little coasters that I had taken off for I would have a clear view of my centerpiece. But now it's time to make the center of this display, the dishes and the glasses. I hope you enjoyed this beautiful garden video I put together today. And for dinner for two, for me and my husband, for we could be like in the garden even though we're in the house. These beautiful edge glasses are from our wedding anniversary and as you can see, hopefully once I put some punch in the glasses, 50th anniversary, are they not beautiful? My daughter got me these for a gift for our anniversary. She is so sweet and so kind. And I just wanted to share with you the things that I got for Valentine's from my husband. This beautiful fairy, isn't she beautiful? I just love her to pieces. My husband knows what I love, and I love fairies and gardens. I thought it was a beautiful gift that he gave me. I hope you agree, and I hope you love all the garden theme in this Valentine's Dinner for Two that I put together today. The beautiful unicorn I've had for quite a few years and I've had the lantern for a year or two. These are some new fairies that I also got recently. I thought they were beautiful for this garden theme. I hope you agree. Please leave me a comment what you thought of a garden theme for Valentine's. Something a little different and unusual, I know. I know I don't make big fancy displays like most of you, but this is simple, beautiful garden. Valentine for two for just me and my husband. Hugs and kisses to all of you. Thank you so much for looking.